Brendan C. for the Spear. And we're live at the Metropolitan Pavilion at the United States Trade Tasting. Mostly wine, some liquor here, you know, whiskey, bird, and things like that. Mostly rums and gins. But I'm here to, you know, give a spotlight, as y'all all know. Well, the tools and fuels that are here give a spotlight on black business owners. And I got to be honest, I came to this event, I wasn't even aware that there was a black distributor for a liquor company. And I'm walking towards this man right now. I do believe, I think he's talking to some people still. He actually has another associate liquor company here now, so I'll give y'all a couple of seconds of reason while he's talking. We got that cold blue vodka right here. Shout it out real quick. This is the man of the hour right here. Yes, I'm talking so much. I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt you know potential sales. I'll let you know. Get a shop around and things or the ring Johnny. Give you all the specs on it. I get to see a close look. Let's get a good action model itself. I have the students for talking. Thank you. Thank you. That's like how it seems to be free. So, yeah, man, I, you know, I finally got to. Catch you out here, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to interrupt the potential no. business, you know what I'm saying? So I made sure I walked off and, you know what I'm saying, handle your business, man. You know what I'm saying? So listen, let me, uh, give me a breakdown, man. Let me get your name, where you from, and all that, man. Let me, you know, let's get, get to the basics, then let's get to the business part. I want to know how you got into the game. I want to know, you know what I'm saying, where did you learn how to, you know what I'm saying, handle your business. I want all that. Just, let's just start with the, you know, the base. Let me get your name, the name of the company first. Make sure you came into the game with a fresh idea as opposed right. to everybody coming through with just a straight see-through bottle. Right. You know what I mean? Like how how long did it take before you actually were able to like make a stamp in the game? Like you know what I'm saying? Like how like how exactly you know what I'm saying did you get the fi you know financing for it and everything like that? We're all self funded. Yeah, so there is no there is no investor, there's nothing like that. Uh, as far as the taste, the distillery is important. So I'll back and forth for about a year. Let's, let's get to the price points, man. Like, where, where would we be able to find you in the store? Like, are you guys, you know, currently easily found in New York? Because, I mean, that's where I'm based right now, so. Uh, well, we're not yet, but we will be very soon. We're working on a distribution deal right now, actually. Oh, okay, so, all right. So, if somebody's, you know, watching this and they, you know, see the bottle in, in their local, you know, liquor store, what, what would they ex be expect to pay for the, the actual one? Uh, well, that would be up to the liquor store, but the suggested retail price is thirty six ninety nine. Oh, okay. So, how, did you did you go to school for business? I mean, like, what's the the background of you know your your business? You know what I'm saying? Business. Well, your I business was, sense. I've been in the real estate industry for about ten years before the market crashed, and then I had to go back to the real job where I was still for about nine years, and then I I wanted to get back into being an entrepreneur. So, like, 
as, as a black man myself, man, the reason why I came up to you as, of course, you know, we had this conversation already. I wanted to know why, you know, so you as a black man made it a point to get into the liquor business. You know what I'm saying? Because there's not that many black people here, as you can see. Going through that recession, uh, one thing I noticed is that you have to do something in recession. And if you look back to the Great Depression, prohibition. And a hundred years later, people are still, people don't drink when they have it or sick. mad at that man i'm just happy to see black people here because i go to plenty of expos and I, I always see them just being an employee right, right you know what i'm saying i respect the ownership aspect that's why we're talking here right now man. No, so listen no, I, appreciate I don't want to you know interrupt any other potential business you know what I'm saying, that's coming your way so let's give them a breakdown like i said of the, you know, the name there's a way where, where, where it can be found you know what i'm saying and just Edit out. Well, goldfoodvodka.com is our website. All the information can be found there. Uh, from, from me, and my associate, anybody who works with the company. Uh, again, the name means blue collar in French. Blue collar workers. That's 98% of the market. Uh, you know, that's that beautician, that barber, that nail tech, that policeman, that nurse. Listen, man, I appreciate the info, man. It's a good talking to you. This is Brennan C for the Spear. We're out. Thank you.